Hello, and my name is Jen and Richard lives and my name is Janari from the Philippines and I'm gonna show you how to So hi welcome to our channel today we're going to propagate uh, Begonia Masamiana the Lonely Rock so okay so let's begin now Please wait for a second. I'm setting up the camera. Okay, so the mean the me the first thing to do is of course to prepare all the materials that we need. There's a watering uh, something to water the alcohol and the blade and always sterilize our cutting cutting tools to avoid some infestation and of course the media that we're going to use so this is sphagnum peat moss or you can you, we can use coco peat with pumice and i just make some burnt rice hull okay so there are many ways so this was cut by my daughter uh, a week ago and i just pop her into the soil so to begin with the, the with the propagation, so we have many ways on how to propagate the leaves. So first thing is the cone cutting. Yeah, so cone cutting is cone cutting is cutting the, the leaves like this. Just be careful with the uh, the leaves is so fragile. So you can. Uh, plant this as an individual plant and you can wait so here and we also have the cinnamon powder this will help the uh, healing of the wound quickly to avoid any uh, bacterial or fung fungal diseases so, just okay, so. okay, so this is what it looks like, and we can plant this also like that. So, this will be one pot, okay? So, another procedure is to to do the okay uh, you choose the matured leaves it's better to trim this off to avoid some uh, fungal infections so you can also cut the leaves like this and then just like a cone cutting Yet we will cut them into. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is another one, and wedge will be like this. So, okay, one cutting. So another cutting here, and I think this is all. This is good to go. So what do we do is. We can use these materials and cover them up. Yes. Oi, sorry. It's falling off. Why? Keeps on falling off. Wait. Okay, let's plant them. Like this. Like this. And Okay, so okay, I didn't put some holes in here as long as I will control my watering, make sure I will not keep it very saggy. Okay, so this is another pot. 
And another method is to cut the leaves and lay them into the into this. Okay. Just like this and and cut into the vein vein since this will be the part of the leaves that will produce the babies. Can you see what I am doing? But for me, more practical way is to cut them into wedge or cone. But still, this can work and more babies to go. Just the matured leaves. Or, should I say the matured veins. So I think I already cut them off. Okay. And this will be laid flat into the media. Okay, like this. You should put some materials to harden. Okay. And so just water them. This is just a plain water. good to go now and then going to cover it with this one okay so be sure not to make this uh, container very very uh, moist or else the, the leaves will rot just the enough moisture that it needs okay and I think I've already shown you all and you can also cut this whole leaf and just put into the water or into the into the pot but mm, it's not so practical since it will just uh, have new plants here than cutting them into into widgets or con cutting because you could have plant from here and from this cutting that you will make so I will still have to cut this so sorry this is a small pot but still so it will be like this for beginners, you could do this method because since uh, this has a more higher rate of survival than those of the ones that I've shown you before, especially when you are a beginner. But when you all, but if you want to try, then you can still try the methods that I've shown you uh, earlier. But this method, the leaf with all the begonias and peperomias. Uh, for all beginners, this is more preferred because it has a higher success rate than cutting them into into this uh, cone or wedge. Since these are prone to to rotting, especially when you are using uh, contaminated media, so you have to s use a sterile media just like the sphagnum peat moss. I find it uh, very very safe to use. Do not ever mix soil since it doesn't work for begonias. So media, choice of media is one of the things that we, we should consider when we propagate. Especially that we cut off the leaves and they, are, they have open woods where the bacteria and other fungal, uh, fungal, micro -or for fungal organisms could easily en enter into the cut thus making it uh, prone to uh, rotting or other diseases so I want to show you also the result of my propagation so I think this is I propagated this uh, on February yeah when I got the plant not this one because I just uh, buy another plant since I want a lush one so I just bought this a month ago so from Holland 
So all of our begonias here in the Philippines, the rare ones are coming from Holland and Thailand. So I propagated this on February. Okay, so as you can see, this as this is still the leaves that is attached and I can remove this and pop this again into but no, I think this is this is starting to run off so I'm not sure if it can be recycled. So this is the new plant that it produced. Can you see that? Wow. Lander rock. Okay, so another propagation, same on February from a single leaf. I got this plant. So this is the biggest. Oh, no, it's not okay. From the single leaf, I got this one, two, three, four. So since we can, I apply the wedge wedge method. So from a single leaf, you could have more plants as long as you know how to propagate. So I have some more here to show to you. I just propagated this. So since I don't have the box, my box is full, so I have to use the cellophane. So this cutting is here ever since the day I propagated them. So now, after I think two months, two to three months, so I used this method. And when I took it a while ago, there there's a roots in there and a little babies. I think I cannot show it to you. It's a little one. Sorry. So there's a little baby coming out from the cut. From this cut. Okay. And we also have one more here. Okay. So we have the baby. Can you see it? Hope I can I hope that I am showing it to you. Can you see that baby? Okay, it's popping out now. Okay, so I think that's for all. And still, I have to propagate these leaves, matured leaves. That's for all for today. Say bye bye, Janaili. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We hope that you learned from our videos our propagation videos so if you want more ah yeah I have one thing to show you okay so I'm showing you the recycled leaf from this ones so I recycled the leaf can you see it and this is another yeah can you see that another baby so this is the second time that it gave birth okay okay just go on Janaili okay so this is the recycled leaf believe it or not this was a recycled leaf from this ones okay what I did was when the baby pop out from this one I removed the propagated leaf or I call it the mother leaf and pop her again into the soil and now I got another baby can you see this I think this is after three months yeah after three months you have you could have this just wait patiently and your propagation will reward you okay so thank you for watching again bye see you soon